Father, lead me day by day, ever in thine own sweet way. Teach me to be pure and true. Show me what I ought to do. When in danger, make me brave. Make me know that Thou canst save. Keep me safe by Thy dear side. Let me in Thy love abide. When I'm tempted to do wrong, make me steadfast, wise, and strong. That when all alone I stand, shield me with Thy mighty. When my work seems hard and dry, may I press on cheerily. Help me patiently to bear pain and hardship, toil and care. May I do the good I know, be thy loving child below, then at last go home to thee, evermore thy child to be. my favorite verses, verse 3. When I'm tempted to do wrong, make me steadfast, wise, and strong. And when all alone I stand, shield me with thy mighty hand. Amen. This is my Father's world, and to my listening ears, all nature sings and round me music of the spheres. This is my Father's world. I rest me in the thought of rocks and trees, of skies and seas. His hand the wonders wrought. This is my Father's world. The birds their carols raise. The morning light, the lily white, declare their Maker's praise. This is my Father's world. He shines in all that's fair. In the rustling grass I hear him pass. He speaks to me everywhere. This is my Father's world. Oh, let me ne'er forget that though the wrong seems oft so strong, God is a ruler yet. This is my Father's world. Why should my heart be sad? The Lord is King, let the heavens ring. God reigns, let the earth be glad. Amen. Thank our Father in heaven for it. I am thankful for water in the creek. It had dried up, and I had to walk a little ways to find a pool to bathe in, and 
Now it's right there. Amen. Thankful for water on the strawberries since uh, we got so home white last night. We didn't get to water them. Mm. So he watered them for us this morning. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thankful for the work we got done today. Yes. Me too. Completing that assignment out there yep. helped a lot. Yep. Uh, there was some barbed wire fence that had to be taken down and rolled up to make room for where the parking lot will be. So Alan helped me with that. That was a blessing. Blessing to accomplish that. Um, what request should we make to our Father in Heaven? Uh, wisdom. Yes. Wisdom and direction to navigate all the choices and things we need to make. Yes. Definitely. Tomorrow I have a good day at work, you know, yeah. make some more progress out there at the lot. Yes, definitely. Yep. All right. Well, let's, let's pray. Our Father in Heaven, we're so grateful for life. Uh, thank you that you sent rain to fill up the creek so it can make its music again and flow down through. We thank you for the work that we were able to accomplish today. We ask for w the wisdom that we need and the direction that we need in our lives. Please forgive us for where we have failed you and for our sins. Give us a heart to seek to know your will and to do it. Teach us how we can unite our weakness with your strength. And we ask that you speak to each heart tonight, the Holy Spirit, and speak to our hearts. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 My mind goes to uh, a verse in the book of Isaiah in chapter 30. And this is Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. Does our Father want to speak to us? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And do we want to hear his voice? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I do. Yes. Uh, when I think about hearing his voice, it uh, reminds me of an experience I had back in uh, October of 2021. The Lord told me to go and preach on the street in Nashville, Tennessee. And it was October 31, Halloween weekend. And I uh, was out on the street doing ministry work, praying with people, teaching the, the gospel, and giving out Bible tracts. And... Uh, it got kind of late, you know, I was kind of cold and a little chilly, and I prayed, and I said, Father in heaven, please show me, like, where do I need to spend the night? I had my sleeping bag, and I thought, well, maybe I'll sleep under a bridge somewhere, but I was asking for direction, for wisdom, to know where do I need to sleep tonight? I didn't know. I didn't have a plan exactly where I was going to sleep. So, I felt the Lord telling me, go down Broadway, so I walking down Broadway, and then there was a side side street, and I heard the Holy Spirit speaking and say, turn left, so I turned left, and there was a uh, homeless man, and he was holding a sign up, saying, hungry, please help, I tried to talk to him, and about, about Jesus, and he said, oh, God's not real, he's just a figment of people's imagination, and um, I said, well, could I pray for you before I, I I go? He said, no, that wouldn't do any good. Just go on. So, kind of with a heavy heart, I turned away and I was I'm turning to go. He said, wait a minute. He said, um, no, you can pray for me. If, if I tell you that you can pray for me, I'll be doing something that would make you feel better and that would be a good deed. So, to make you feel better, yes, you pray. So, prayed for him and that the Lord would bless him and so then after we got done praying he said you stay with me if we stay here and look uh, pretend that we're holy then people will give us money more money I said no 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 let's not pretend to 
be holy. Let's be holy. And he said, well, when are you going to sleep tonight? I said, oh, well, I don't know. And he said, well, follow me. I will show you the best place to sleep. And I had Bible tracks in one hand and a sleeping bag and the other and walking along thinking, hmm, where is he taking me? So <clears throat> he said, good. We've arrived before anybody else. And there was this, there was this great that was uh, about the size of two thirds of this room maybe. Um, and it was like an industrial make dryer vent. And so I, uh, I brought a sleeping bag, but that was such a warm, I was so cold that I thought, you know, I, I want to feel this warm air. So I tried to put my sleeping bag on, but it was just billowing up around me. He said, here, you go to sleep, I'll tuck you in. So he tucked me in. Uh, <laughs> And so my sleeping bag would uh, bill up, bill up around me, and he said, "Now, uh, you go to sleep, and I will watch and make sure that nobody steals our stuff." So I went to sleep, and I was sound asleep. And, um, then he woke me up. Are you okay, Titus? I said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good." He said, "Okay, I'm just checking." So I went back to sleep, and then I, anyway, I woke up, and he was screaming at, at somebody, and I woke up, and there was like five other guys, and. Was, you know, we were all packed on there, you know, and uh, he's like, you stole my, my cigarettes, you stole my lighter, and the guy was like, just waking up, I said, no, no, Wesley, I said, calm down, I, you know, I don't think he stole it, you know, just, just, um, you know, let's not accuse him, and he calmed down, he's like, oh, Titus, thank you, you're my pastor, you're my priest, and you're helping me to stay more calm, so then I went back to sleep, and then he woke me up again. He said, do you see what I have? And he had my pocket knife. He said, you'd be glad, you better be glad that I found it because if somebody else had found it, you'd never see it again. So I put it back in my pocket and uh, I slept so well there. And I thought, oh, if I did not, if I would not have had that great, I get frosted that night. And if I hadn't had that, that warm air coming up, it would have been just a really hard night. And I had no knowledge of that that it was there. Um, so um, w whenever I read this verse now, it reminds me of that experience where I heard a voice behind me saying, Titus, walk there, walk there. And we can learn to hear that voice. We can learn to obey that voice. And it's a special thing when we can hear that voice and just follow that direction. And God will not lead you wrong. He will not lead you on a path that's wrong for you. It'll be a great experience. That's right. Yes. When you hear his voice and you do it, it's so rewarding. So here, who would like to hear God's voice more? Yeah. That's right. Yes. Our Father in Heaven sees our hands. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's close with just one song and then we'll pray. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary pure and holy tried and true with thanksgiving i'll be a living sanctuary lord for you all right let's pray our father thank you that you want to speak to your children. Thank you for speaking to us. Help us to learn to, to listen to the still small voice. Help us to listen to the Holy Spirit speaking to our hearts. Help us, Father, to obey. And sometimes we have hard hearts and we don't want to do what we're told. Sometimes that voice directs us to go contrary to what we think is best for us. Give us a surrendered heart that would be willing to do whatever you ask us to do. We want to hear that voice more clearly. Forgive us for the times when we heard that voice of your Holy Spirit and we just didn't obey and we did our own thing. Thank you for your forgiveness and for your help, for your power in our lives to change. And we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Amen.